Welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. Alright, we've got some RoboPorts down. It's time to actually extend our RoboPort network. So we want to make sure that this dotted line always connects. We want to try and put them somewhere out of the way. So they're not going to interfere with any future builds. And of course they need power as well. Because we want to extend this build all the way up to our little make almost everything. Preferably with, without me having to run back and forth five or six times to get more robo ports. Uh, robo ports are that one. Uh, press Q. And there's a gap intentionally left in right here to put down one, one robo port, another one. Oh, bugger. I misplaced something. Not quite big enough to put one there. But you can see that these guys stop flashing. We now have yeah, these items. Anything in one of these red chests is now in the RoboPort network. So we have requester chests. We have uh, no passive providers, requester chests, and RoboPorts in the network. So I can now take a RoboPort and hold down the Q button to press the Q button to select one. Put it there. And a robot, hopefully we'll find him, will leave from all the way down there. He'll fly all the way up at lightning speed because he's super slow still. Oh, I put down a radar, which never got placed because let's get rid of that. Um, he's going to run out of charge sooner or later. Well, let's slow the game down to one speed so we can hover over him. His charge is getting lower and lower and lower. Will he make it there in one jaunt? Uh, what charge do they start with? I don't think the tooltip tells me. Uh, where are robots? No, nope, doesn't tell me. Where is he? He's still flying. 300 kilowatts. Nope, he's changed direction. He's going here to charge. So, it means he's got to recharge first. Where is he? Now I can't select him. Uh, can't speed all the way down. He's back at 1.4 1 1 megajoules of power. Uh, so he'll pick up a RoboPort and put it over here. Same time, we need to use some of these passive providers and put them down anywhere we possibly need stuff um, delivered. So we need... Oh look, we're going to want pipes delivered, we're going to want inserters delivered. We're going to want undergrounds delivered and red belt delivered. We want, uh, what else do we want delivered? Oh, uh, drills delivered. Um, we're going to have, just because rich chests are easy, we will have, uh, oh wow, there's a lot of those in there now. Um, we will have um, boilers, um, steam, steam and burner inserters all delivered. Um, we're actually going to change that one to request a chest. And we'll set it to... Because this is essentially where all our stone furnaces go. And as you can see from the logistics network, there's not a lot. Um, not a lot of odds and ends. Yeah, there's, not, there's, there's no stone furnaces currently, but if we find any and we trash them, they'll end up here. And you can see all these construction bots have taken off because our bus is missing big sections. And the bots will automatically take care of all that stuff for us. Oh, our car's still parked there. Um, what else haven't we upgraded? We... Let's do chemical plants, engines, uh, inserters of course, red inserters, um, what's that? Uh, ah, you need to be a requested. Oh. Uh, okay, time we start filling this out. We want belt. We want like 400 belt delivered, please. Not 3.4, 400. We want undergrounds. We want 50 of them. We want 50 splitters at all times. We would really like some fast inserters and some long handed inserters. And power poles, which we haven't automated. 
Because um, copper still has not been fed into this system at all. Um, it's something that we still need to do. Uh, best spot to put copper in is probably up here beside steel. We haven't needed it yet. We only need it for a couple of things. So let's do one, two... Alright, we're going to do power poles. Big power poles. And do we have substations? Yes. And we'll do substations. Substations. Alright. Uh, so that's steel brought along. Uh, inserter, inserter, inserter. Uh, long head inserter. Let's go with long head inserter. We'll do our output. We'll do more passive provider chests. And again, we'll cap these down to one stack should be plenty. Probably not for power poles. Probably two for power poles. Uh, so we've got steel into each of these. You need red circuits, which is easy enough. We will bring red circuits down and in there. Uh, we need power for this stuff, obviously. And... Ah, I missed an inserter out here somewhere. Right here. Nope. Right there. And I also missed this one. So a bot's seen that and gone, okay, I'll fix that for you. Uh, and stuff's missing repair packs. I'll trash those. And a construction bot will come pick them up from me and go repair these two items. Uh, okay, copper. Copper, that's what we're trying to do. Now, the other thing you have to remember now is these bots, these logistics bots, will now follow me to try and give me stuff. Now, if I step outside range, they instantly run back to base. Here's another set coming out, and I stepped outside range, and they're returning back to dump them in storage. So it's something you have to keep mindful of. That bots will chase you all the time to give you what you've asked for. We want the simple two-way one, which we can put right there. And technically, the bots will actually build that for us. We're going to bring in copper here. Uh, yep, copper's fine along at this line. Uh, now, copper's got to come into just these two inserters. Uh, oh bugger. I think I can do that without an issue. Yep, stone won't go into the wood in that direction. Uh, nope. I forgot. Copper, we actually want to come in, back out, get rid of those belts, put down that inserter, uh, nope, it's got to go into there and to there. Alright, try that again JD. Oh, and there goes another alarm. Uh, okay. i got to get this lined up. Okay, so that goes into there. Copper comes... No. Copper comes along, comes down, goes across, goes back out, turns that way. Uh, turns that way. Goes from there to there. Snakes back around to reach this inserter. Oh, or does it go through a splitter? It goes through a splitter, actually. Yeah. No. 
There's a certain amount of snaking going on here. Uh, you need to go back a square. You need to go back a square. You need to go there. Trying to build everything as compressed as this brings its challenges. Uh, for the moment, copper can just go to there. Because I don't think we need copper for much else. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Those your handcraft. That your handcraft. Uh, no, I don't think we need copper for much else. This this is almost complete. Uh, uh, now, I don't need that. And I do not want the wood. So I can hold down control and just left click on the wood. And I'll just put all of it here. It doesn't work for every item, but it works for a lot of items. Um, what else don't we, we, we need? We'll convert our stone to landfill because it stacks higher. Um, Alright, we'll leave that there for the moment. Now, the other thing we want to desperately do... Is we'll give us some more res more some slots, so we'll get another row of slots. At the same time, we want some batteries because we're wearing power armor. Power armor lets us do stuff, um, but we need batteries to run it basically. And do we have night vision? I should do. Yeah, we do because I meant to research that ages ago. No, I built one of them ages ago. As soon as we got red circuits, actually. And the other thing we desperately want. Is we want one of these. Personal robot port. Which will let us have our own personal robots. Um, it's like mini little slaves to do stuff for you. Uh, so we need some of that. We need some of these batteries. Which are being produced ever so slowly. So we need to buff that production up. Uh, we need some steel. Which is right here. And we need one of them. Uh... What else do we want to have researched? Actually, the other thing we want to do is we're going to take all these random boxes we've dumped here, there, and everywhere and pick them up. And we just use the deconstruction planner, put it over the box, and say, go away. That's another one. Um, I don't know where the other ones are. Uh, we'll do another one of those. Let's get another one of those out of the way. Um, just to get rid of them, and they'll go into mass storage. Rather than having a random box laying around. Okay, battery. One, two, three. Gives us a little battery back down here. Solar panels have crap output, so it will take ages to charge these up. But we will charge them up eventually. Uh, we need solar panels for that. What do we need to make solar panels? We need more steel. And we want one, two, three, four, five. Five. Which is making red circuits. Let's not make red circuits. Let's go stand in a pool of red circuits for just a minute. And do it that way. Alright. So, bots are bringing us stuff. Our RoboPort network is getting bigger. Um, but let's like extend it right the way out. So, using our robots... Let's put one here, because I think one fits there. No, of course not. Not by a square. Which is often the case. You'll, you, you'll often wish you just had just a tiny bit more room to do things. Uh, this is an important research. Worker robot speed, one. 35% um, bonus. 40% bonus. 50% bonus. 55. 65. And their infinite research at 65% bonus. Um, they stack. And they're very, very important. Right, we'll pop that one down. We'll pop that robo port down. Um, now we've got some more rows. We're going to say, look, look, I'd love some big power poles. I would love some iron, just in case I've got a handcraft or anything. Uh, a bit of copper too. Tiny bit of steel. Give me some green circuits. Give me some red circuits. Um, you know what? I would love to also have some robo ports on me personally. Um, oh, robots. Uh, I'd love to have some robots. Uh, where are they? 
and that one. Send me 50, please. Um, because we now have night vision, which means it's no longer get dark for us. And Roboport. So, personal Roboport gives you 10 robots with two charge stations. Now, there is a bigger and better version, this one here, which we cannot even get close to yet. But gives us 25 robots with four charging stations. Um, 10 robots is a start. 10 robots is enough that we can build right on top of ourselves. Um, we need Roboports. Let's put another Roboport. See? Just, just like two squares out of range. But I'll put one there anyway. And you'll see he's in a different Roboport network to these guys. Because they've got a different amount of available robots. But hopefully I've left enough room on my main bus that I can pop one there. Uh, what else? Like, we don't need copper wire. Now, normally in the past I've been dumping them physically into machines. But now I have robots, I can physically just send them to the trash and robots shall deal with. Uh, as you see, robots are now off and busy. Um, finishing hooking up my, wire, uh, my, my, my plumbing to these extra chemical, uh, these extra refineries. Same time, they'll finish building up the bus, which really doesn't actually have to go any further. Um, you don't exist, you don't exist, you don't exist. Uh, your batteries, so you don't actually exist. Uh, your red circuits, I believe, so you don't exist. Uh, uh, your green circuits, you definitely don't exist. So yeah, they're, they're, they're going to place all my planning blueprints, which of course, most are rubbish. Now, I uh, press Q to select normally, and if I do that, and that, it will automatically fill out, you know, the bots will automatically build those areas, and bring my resources all the way down to the end of the bus, basically. Um, ah, radars. I would like a radar right here, please. And it's going to be outside power range, so put a power pole there. Um, done. This will get built out as well, if it's in range. Um, it's not in range. So, same story. Take a Roboport. Make sure it's linked into the existing network. Put it down. And when they come build this Roboport, it'll extend the range. They'll come build this stuff as well. Um, yeah, the blueprint's obviously a little bit old. So, deconstruction planners only last an hour. So, this rock was obviously planned for deconstruction with other things on top. And because it's been so long, it's actually lost the plan to deconstruct that one item. So, if I re-blueprint there to there, and it should all line up blue. Place that back down, delete off the excess little bit of belt, because we don't need it to go that far. And we actually don't need that to go any further, because that's the end of our red circuit build. Bots have come along, place everything, place all the assemblers, automatically set the recipes for us, remove the rocks and anything else in the way, and we're, we're, we're flying. We're flying. Uh, we don't need that anymore. Uh, I have my own personal robots. Yep, so when I give a plan, th my, three of my own personal robots took off and went and did it for me. Um, but now we have robots, we can start blueprinting en masse. So we can take that build and say, look, I want more engines. Lots more engines, please. Uh, not engines, batteries. Mm. Bots will be happily to come along and place all this stuff for me. Uh, as long as I stay inside the green zone. Now, the catch is, I have my own green construction zone. So, be careful. You might build too far and actually go outside the construction zone and not even realise it. Oh, I forgot pipe. I forgot pipe for all these things. Uh, so, you and you are plumbed together. So, means you and you will be plumbed together. With an underground from there to there. And an underground there. Same story. If I just blueprint that important piece... And place it at the next pair. 
Uh, we now know that that system works. And then all we do is we overlap them. And either my bots will deal with it or the network bots will deal with it. Um, either way, as long as it's done, we're pleased as punch. Now, I just pulled up two of these um, because I actually want to build on the other side of the belt at the same time. And, yep, one belt's missing. As soon as it's placed, everything starts going. So I want to actually build on the other side of the belt. So I'm going to put two there. And this will actually have the short out, long in, rather. Same recipe. Uh, bit of pipe there. With underground this way to come get more fluid. And underground that way to continue on to the next pair. Uh, so all I need to do is... There's a robo port in the way now. Line this stuff up. Uh, and I can't reach that so if I hold down shift it'll put down a ghost image and one of my robots who obviously has a much bigger range than I do will run off and go do it for me the advantage of robots uh, so I'm going to take that and out of the way pipe I'm just going to run along and these will be placed wherever they can be placed perfectly so there was a tree in the way. So because there was a tree in the way, that one didn't place. But now I've set the tree to be deconstructed. I can place them happily along. And you know, hold down. If, if I left click, it won't work because the inserters are facing the wrong way. But if I hold down shift, it'll say place it no matter what. And obviously everything that's already there can't be removed. Well, it's not set to be removed. But these two guys will get popped in. So, that'll fix our battery production, hopefully. They do take a while each, um, but hopefully that will correct our battery issues. So, the next thing we really need to do is look at our next science pack. And I want a second deconstruction planner, which, as you can see for the whole game, stayed at the end of my inventory. And I want to select you for trees and rocks only. So now I can come along and go, look, all this crap out of my way. And I can just select arbitrarily everything uh, and I want another one of them oh that one didn't get placed nor did that one why not ah it's outside range of course seems logical when you look at it that way uh, let's put the next robo port down here we just want a bit more coverage and I want that radar so I can see further um, but yeah, this this is how you start the remote building. Um, you don't have power because your power pole is not part of the blueprint for whatever reason. Um, so I guess the next really big thing is um, probably more science. And probably because I'm still carrying around these steel furnaces because I know they have to go somewhere. Let's go up game speed too. Run down the bus because it's quicker. And bring up my robot port network. And make sure I do pretty good coverage. Here we go. Robots taking off. There's some steel furnaces I missed. There's some more steel furnaces I've missed. Here's some more. Just run along. Run along and look for coverage. Um, work at robot speed again. Oh, didn't I? Didn't I actually tick that? There you go. We want robots to go faster. Faster, faster, faster. Uh, now they look all pretty good. Come on. And we'll go faster again. You see straight away this little guy is doing a better job of keeping up with, you, with me. He's not perfect. Come on, in my inventory. Uh, nope, they're all good. They're all good. Okay, that's all that built. Uh, we can't do that one because that's purple science. But there's plenty of other upgrades we can do. Let's start with productivity. Uh, actually, cargo size. We'll let them carry more. Um, we'll bring up this because our batteries went flat. Which is a catch with robots. Um, if I just ran night vision, I'd be fine. 
But running night vision and a roboport, um, pretty much you can guarantee your battery is going to be flat all the time. Uh, I want a roboport there, please. Uh, I'd like one here-ish. Uh, I'll just put a big power pole there. I'd like one up here. Oh, let's go with the railway port. And I'd like one here. Do I want to go? Oh, let, let's let's go all the way up to the giant copper splitter. Uh, next. All right, let's go for power armor, which is a bigger and better armor suit. Um, unfortunately, we won't get to build it this this episode. Um, or actually. Lab research speed. Because we have plenty... Let's put that down. Let's go to our labs. Where are our labs? Our labs are here. As you can see, these belts are all the way backed up. You know, red and green's basically going flat out. And... Oh, we just chewed a chunk. It's 50-50 whether our, our, our machines are fast enough. Um, but as long as we've got a heap sitting on the belts... Honestly, I'd like to use it faster than I can make it. Uh, you're not placed because there isn't one in storage. So if I put one there, a bot came and picked it up. He's going to pop it down there because alerts. One objects are missing in material for construction. So one bot came from me, picked up that that radar, and he's going to fly all the way down here and drop it off for me. Um, yeah, we, we want to use science faster than we can make it because oh, there's our bot. Because you can always add more labs, right? You you can't well. You can add more maps. You really honestly don't want to. Ah, he missed. He didn't quite get there the charge. Uh, Alright, let's do... Let's do modular armor. So now we, see, we should see, with the speed of 90 plus 90%, we should see these belts shorten, not drastically. Um, oh, I take that back. That, that's a lot more than I thought. Uh, but it means those small gaps you have in research, hopefully, hopefully, it, 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 it means when they build up on the belt a little bit, we should be able to, like I said, hopefully, um, chew up, um, chew up and bleed off the belt a little bit faster. Um, what else do we want to do? Uh, that was research again. Okay, so let's do... Um, advanced electronics. We need those. We need blue circuits. Because the armor we just researched needs blue circuits. And of course, we can't build them yet. Uh, now, the other thing I really desperately need to do is I need to get this high enough. Uh, and make a far too big a robot network but I do want it to take it back to the original base and then have the bots deal with it because I don't particularly want to go back to the original base and rip up all the bits and pieces manually I'd much prefer it if we could just say hey bots come clean up this mess for me but they can't do that unless they can reach it and as you can see I'm going for the maximum distance Uh, and I'm out of roboports. Come on, bots, bring me more roboports. And actually, we probably set that higher. Let's set that to 10. Uh, yep, they're going. Bots picking up stuff. Off we go. Um, what else? We don't. Oh, nuclear power. Nuclear power's not a bad idea. We haven't we haven't done dug up any uranium yet, um, but we will need to shortly to at least play with nuclear power. Um, oh, bigger, better batteries. Yeah, so same battery takes up the same amount of play, uh, space, but holds twenty megajoules, holds a hundred megajoules. You need ten of the original batteries. So in resource management, it doesn't really work out for you, but um, definitely, definitely, definitely more space efficient. Yeah, we want to rip up all of this. Um, inserter capacity. So stack inserters, which we haven't really played with yet, because we haven't needed to, they can pick up more. More per swing. 
Uh, I've got my Roto Forts. So, so I don't run out of range, I'm actually going to... Uh, where does range start now? No. Do I have 10? Oh, I've got 10 anyway. Alright, so pop that there. Pop that there. Put another one down here somewhere. Uh, one up uh, one up here one down uh, hold down shift so clean up the trees at the same time uh, we've got enough green to cover everything uh, okay go away you got every everything's pretty much covered all right we want to whitelist. We want to say, don't take out power poles, please. And then hopefully, no, I got it around the wrong way. I'm gonna blacklist these those items. So we basically said, hey, destroy everything except power poles. And then I want to run far, far away when I do this, because we're gonna launch every bot we have in the base to go clean up. map view. I'm going to start this in. Uh, oh, we want the radar as well. Alright, we'll just try not to get the radar. Nope. Oh, that's the forest one. That one. So, you'll see, it says, hey, I'm deconstructing everything, but there's no power poles in there at all. Alright, that's the important thing. Uh, we'll deconstruct that whole pile as well. Again, no power poles are harmed in the making of this. In the deconstruction of this. Um, we'll leave our belts feeding materials in. So what we'll actually do is we'll run these existing belts all the way along and feed them into one of our giant splitters. Um, because the resources are good. There's nothing wrong with them. We... Okay, so I probably should add rover ports to that. So now I can select around the rover port and over the rover port without too much issue. Uh, we should actually also add... Miners, because I don't really want to rip up the miners. Uh, all that can go away. That's the belt for science. That's all the old science build. Uh, yep, that's science still. Uh, all of that can go, all of that can go, that can go, that line can go, that line can go, that one will cut off straight. Uh, all that can go, all of this stuff can all go. Uh, okay. 10,000 bots deal with old base. And as you can see, we're just adding construction bots to the network consistently and continuously to clear out what there was. No, oh, I missed some still. Okay. And because bots fly directly, they're going out to here, running out of charge, and having to go north. So you have to be a little bit careful when you build your robot port network or your robot networks when they're really, really massive, and make sure you, you're drawing a, a somewhat straight line of charging stations. Um, I obviously haven't, because at this point I really don't care. Um, I just want it done. It's a one-off trip. And the other thing we need to do is we need to... So I want to request red boxes and blue boxes. also want assembly machines, please. Um, that'll do us for a moment. Alright, so, blue boxes. Request the chests. Um, this makes undergrounds. And this assembly, if you remember, is set to turn off if there's anything in this box. Because it's still set to read contents. We want to set you to undergrounds. And there's currently two in the network somewhere. As you can see, our network's getting, well... Our logistics system, uh, storage, uh, system storage is getting bigger and bigger and full of more and more crap. Um, because we just deconstruct our whole base. So it goes for this one. We want to request all the yellow belt, please. And I obviously had some yellow belt on me. 
your output into there. Oh, in case I need. So that that one's on manual. That one I have to come pick up manually still. Uh, you, we want to request splitters. Again, any splitters that come into the network, come please dump them here. Uh, what else do we have? We have blues. There's no good way to get. Oh, I guess we could put one here. So. Uh, okay. Another addition of the logistics chest is if you right click on a, on a building to copy it. And as you can see, we copy and paste it there. Uh, uh, if you shift, well, shift right click to copy, shift left click to paste. If you left click on a requester chest, it will automatically set it to the items it needs and two of, or no, four times, four times? Yeah, four times the amount. Um, really, all we care about is this. We want any, any assembly machine ones to end up here, please. So they can be recycled, because that's what the system's all about. Alright. Um, as there is, there's none currently. Uh, that one's set to stone furnaces, but I'm pretty sure we've got all of those. What else needs to be recycled? Um, that's probably... Uh, we can attempt to recycle... Come on, let me through. We can attempt to recycle uh, standard inserters, but you better bet... Because science uses them faster than anything else. Um, okay, your better bet is trying to recycle things at the source. So, if blue science accidentally ends up in the logistics network, bring it here. And dump it on the belt. Uh, and I want it on the belt right at the start, not at the end, because then they're just sitting there forever. Uh, same with this guy. Now, we've already got yellows being recycled. Uh, I need room to put that down. Uh, we want a fast inserter. We want a blue chest. Blue chest. And we want to request... Stand inserters, please. Look, there's already 50 in the network. So I'll get dumped onto this belt rather than this machine. Because this machine won't be able to output if the belt's already full. All right, And we get to recycle the, all the old ones. Um, this guy puts out standard ammo. Same story. Once we're up to armor pissing ammo, don't really want standard ammo. So any standard ammo in the network, put in there. Oh, look, I got some standard ammo. Done. Um, armor pissing ammo. Same story. We'll do. Now, a very careful thing to note is uh, where are they? I don't want wooden chests. Go away. Um, is you have to make sure when you're doing these dual belts to make sure you put on the same side of the belt. So armor piercing ammo, same story. Some of it somewhere has ended up in the logistics network. Let's dump it into this chest and it will go onto the far side of the belt, same as all the others are. And we will basically recycle it. We don't want it. Uh, grenades... Grenades we actually have adding to a chest, which is not in the network yet. Let's add that to the network. Um, grenades, we, we we will be requesting to clear trees. Um, we're going to use less of them now, but if you have being put on the network and being taken off the network, what will happen is bots will come down here, they'll pick up these these grenades, they'll fly them up here and dump them back on the belt. So we'll just, we'll go with a, we'll, we'll hope that we use them, essentially. Uh, oh, red and green sites. I didn't do that. Uh, request a chest there and there. You do red sites. Red sites. You do green sites. There's none in the network, and there's none in the network. But should there ever get any in the network, again, we want to we want to actually put it back into use. Um, ha ha! Gun turrets. There's guaranteed to be some gun turrets laying around doing nothing. Uh, gun turret. Yep, 44. So they'll get delivered, they'll get burnt up in science. Uh, everything else. Oh, only in case it happens, because this is the only place they're going to get used. 
And I should put it at the other end of the belt so I actually use. Actually, that's a better spot for them. Uh, where's an inserter? There. And we want. This makes. Flying robot frames. No, none of the network. So, yeah, that's one thing you've got to be really, really careful about. Make sure that as you go up to logistics networks, you start recycling things. Um, same story now that we've got an actual working network. We will come flying over here and we'll do. Where's that network extend to? Hmm, it misses both our inputs. So we need to do something about copper ore and iron ore. Because I guarantee you... Uh, let's put down a chest. Can we see our storage network? No, we don't have any iron in there yet. But there is like 900 coal. And 1.2k uh, wood. And there is a few things that we need to clear out of the network. Um, which will come with time. Um... And yeah, we've got massive charging issues over here because we just sent too many bots. Too many bots to do the job uh, too quickly. And they'll get it done. They'll just take their time. In the meantime, we're going to rapidly keep adding bots to the network until this particular job is done. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. Um, we, we, we've covered getting recycling done. We've covered getting our armor up and down and our own personal robots. Um, next episode, we will probably tackle blue chips or processing units um, just so we can start getting bigger and better armor along with we should start covering we should cover that one as well hopefully but yeah thank you guys for watching as always I'm hoping you're enjoying this little tutorial series sorry the episode's a bit longer than normal um, but you know sort of comes with the territory so to speak um, oh we should add batteries to this output. Uh, I just need a handful of batteries, please. Handful of batteries into there. Uh, and of course, I've got them back in the network, and the bots will have to deal with them. Same story, I should recycle these onto the belt. Mm. Uh, batteries, please. Uh, an inserter and of course we're way outside the robot net network yeah oh look there's, there's, there's 19 batteries that I just dumped in to go back into the belt system to be gotten rid of but yeah like I said we're going to leave it here thank you guys for watching as always hope you're enjoying the series um, any questions any comments anything that you don't think I covered or you think I should cover um, by all means, whack them down in the comment section. I do read all the comments. Um, generally in the same day they're posted. Sometimes within minutes of them being posted. It all depends. Um, as always, end of, the, end of the episode, you should find the playlist for the series on the right-hand side, along with um, a random video chosen to, for you guys by the YouTube gods. You'll also find a link to the subscribe button if you haven't clicked it already. I'd appreciate it if you would. And a link to my Patreon if you feel like supporting the channel. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Alright, bye!